To modify a door or window in Revit works pretty much the same way to modify any family in Revit. Uh, there are basically three different ways you can do that. Uh, the first and the easiest way is to just swap it out for a different type. The second is to change its parameters. These are things like its dimensions, uh, the material it's made out of, or its finish. And the third and the most complicated way uh, to modify a family is to actually edit the family itself uh, and then you can change uh, anything about it. It's geometry and you can customize it to look exactly the way you want it to look. So to make sense of all this, the, the first and the easiest way to change a family is to swap it out for a different type. To do this we're going to zoom in. In this case on the front entrance door, it's a double door with two side lights. I'm going to click on the family and I'm going to go up to the options bar and pull down the menu for the family type selector and choose a different family type. I'm going to choose a single door with a single side light uh, just like the one next to it. Uh, and as you can see when I clicked on that it changed it uh, to a different type and it left it in place. One thing to keep in mind is uh, things like dimensions that are associated with the family um, might change uh, and might get screwed up. Uh, so I'm just going to delete those for now and I can redimension it. The second way to ch change this family is to actually um, go into its element properties and change its parameters. To do this, I'm going to uh, click on the family, uh, go up to the options bar, and choose the element properties button located next to that pull down menu. When I click on the element properties button, it pulls up the element properties window and it gives me a list of parameters. Parameters are just different aspects of a family that someone has already built for you to make it a little easier to change that. There are basically two different categories of parameters for any family. Um, they're uh, either going to be the instance parameter or the type parameter. And the difference between the two is an inst instance parameter um, affects just the family that you've selected. Um, so just the door selected in red um, will be affected by the changes I make in the instance parameters. The type parameters uh, will affect all families of the same type. So it should affect all of the, the similar doors. Um, in this family, uh, instance parameters include the inset and then the door swing. So if I change the door swing, it should only affect the door that I've selected. So I'll change it to 45 degrees, hit OK, and it's only changed that door um, that I've uh, selected. I'll go back to the element properties button and change it back. If I, if I want to change a type parameter, I want to select it and go back to the element properties. Uh, to access those, I actually want to hit Edit New. And this will bring up all the type parameters that have been built for this family. These are things uh, listed here, like its width and height. So when I go to change these, then that should change um, all of the families of the same type. So for example, its width, if I change that to 6 feet, it should change it for both. And it did. I can change all of uh, the parameters right there. I'm going to hit OK, hit OK again. Uh, the third and the final way to change uh, this family is to actually edit the family itself. And this uh, gives you the, the ability to customize it. Uh, and you can change anything you want about it. Uh, to do that, you're going to select the family, and then you're going to click the Edit Family at the Options bar up at the top here. Once you click on the Edit Family button, um, Revit asks you if you really want to open the file for editing. This opens the file from where it was saved. Uh, if you click yes, it will bring up that door family um, and then you can really start doing some damage. Um, I think that the details of this get a little bit complicated and so um, that'll be on a different video.